A new dig site is here and with it a brand new AFK Dungeoneering method. No longer will you need to wait in anticipation of the Dungeoneering hole to get those sweet AFK gains. Obviously, the new method doesn't come close to active XP rates, but you still can get over 150k XP per hour while also getting OK Archaeology XP. Also, I've cooked up something extra tricky that I'll go over later in the video that can push your AFK rates to over 1 million XP per hour. On the ground floor of the new dig site, there are two excavation spots that require level 73 and 77 archaeology to uncover. These spots give a total of four artifacts which can be restored and handed in to Sherigan at the Anachronia base camp. As a reward, you get a stack of 5k chronates and two large dungeoneering token boxes. These boxes give you tokens that scale depending on your dungeoneering level using the formula 1.25 times your level squared plus 50. At level 50, they give over 3,000 tokens each, at level 80, over 8,000 tokens each, and at level 120, a massive 18,000 tokens each. That means for every log completion, you're going to get up to 36,000 tokens. It's worth noting that there is one other collection which will give you token boxes, but they are slower to collect. I did the math, you'll get about 25% less completions per hour, and it gives the same number of token boxes, so it's worse dungeoneering XP, but it is better archaeology XP, so if you're leaning more towards archaeology XP, then that other collection might be the one to do. Back to the token boxes. What good are they anyways? It's just tokens, it's not XP. If you talk to the rewards trader in Damonheim, you can open his shop. You'll see an option that allows you to exchange tokens one-to-one -to -one for experience. And this is exactly how this method will work. Basically, you're going to fill out these collection logs, exchange them for token boxes, open the token boxes, and then buy direct experience. The XP per hour depends on both your archaeology level and boosts and your dungeoneering level. The time to get an artifact will vary a lot from player to player, so I'll give a range of values for you to use. Here's a quick list of buffs that will help you excavate faster. If you excavate an artifact in one minute, you're looking at 15 collections in an hour or 30 large token boxes. Obviously, those are some pro gamer strats. At that point, you're not really AFKing. You're actively training archaeology with a ton of buffs, double XP on, all that jazz, which is not what this guy is about. So we're going to ignore that. But theoretically, it would give you almost half a million XP per hour, which is pretty good, but still not as good as the method we'll go over later. However, what I have found is that at level 120 with, you know, a decent amount of buffs on, I can get an artifact every three or four minutes pretty reasonably, which I think is a good baseline for players. But again, if you're lower level, it'll take you a little bit longer. So just keep that in mind. Time your own archaeology artifact gathering. So you'll see in this table I put together, I basically have a column that says how many minutes it takes you to get an artifact. Then if you just follow that over, it'll tell you how many completions of the whole collection you'll get per hour and the equivalent amount of token boxes from that. Then next, we need to balance this based on what your dungeoneering level is, because the amount of tokens you get from a box scales to your dungeoneering level. Keeping that in mind, it's also important that when you're doing this, you open boxes and then buy the experience that gets you to the next level before opening more boxes, because you want to get the maximum amount of tokens out of each box. So like, let's say you're level 45, open a couple of boxes by level 46, and then keep opening boxes after that. All right, now I'm going to throw another table at you. This time, we're going to have still the archaeology time to excavate a single artifact. But then you'll see levels 10 all the way up to 120, which corresponds to your dungeoneering level. So for example, let's just say you're level 50 dungeoneering, and it takes you six minutes to excavate one of these artifacts. If you follow down in that table, you get about 16,000 tokens per hour, which is honestly pretty good. That's like one or two levels in an hour, which, you know, you can do better training real dungeoneering or doing elite dungeons for tokens. But just for complete AFK, you know, no combat, low requirements, this is a really great method for that. All right, but what if you want to do something faster? Now it's time to get into my second, more complicated method that does involve some dungeoneering, but 
you still get that big AFK portion to prepare for it. Normal Dungeoneering is still the fastest Dungeoneering XP in the game, and by a lot. It's very possible to find a group on World 77 doing 6 or more large floors in an hour. At higher levels, the group XP rates can be pushed to well over a million XP per hour just as the base rate. However, it doesn't stop there. Using Dungeoneering cards purchased from the Elite Dungeoneering Reward Shop, you can multiply the XP per floor up to 3 times or 5 times on a double XP weekend. Unfortunately, the cards are expensive and impossible to sustain on every large floor, even with a dedicated team using team cards together. During my Fresh Start World series, I determined that the most token effective method to card floors with a group of friends at level 120, and it's not amazing, but it's still really good XP, and if you could have even more cards, it would be unstoppable. And that is where we will combine this method with normal dungeoneering. So you have to do less real dungeoneering, just card every floor and get insane rates all the time. The two cards we want are the Preening Ibis and Thieving Locust. When you activate them during a floor, they'll multiply your XP by 2.5 times. If you buy solo cards, it'll only take about 45k tokens to get a set of these cards with the dungeoneering outfit. But there is a catch. The cards don't stack. That means you only get to use one per floor, so you'll need to do more floors to use them all. The workaround for this is to use one team card and one solo card so you can get both buffs. Unfortunately, that's more expensive and will cost you about 90k tokens on average for a set of cards. One option to work around this is teaming up with other players who will also use a card. For example, let's say you get a group of 5 people together and you all agreed to do 5 floors and card 1 each. You'll all need a set of team cards which will cost 135k tokens on average, which is a ton but that's divided over 5 floors, so it's effectively only 27k tokens per card set you buy which is cheaper than even using solo cards. As long as those cards give you more than 27k XP per floor, it's a more effective use of your tokens than buying direct XP. Here's a list of the effective token cost per card set depending on how many people you split cards with. As long as you get more than this amount of extra XP from the floor, it's better than exchanging tokens for XP. I'll also note that Dungeoneering Wild cards stack with team cards, which is another great buff. For this reason, if you're doing the card method, it's usually better to do the mid-level collection that also gives wild cards for a total of 3 times base floor XP. I suggest doing this method starting around level 75 or 80 Dungeoneering. Before then, it'll be both hard to team form and hard to actually net positive XP from carding versus just exchanging tokens for direct XP. At level 120 Dungeoneering with 4 other people, you will gain well over 1 million XP worth of cards from a single hour of token AFK. The best part for those of you who hate Dungeoneering and just want it over with, this will also drop the time you actually spend in floors by more than half. So while you're trying to team form, might as well do some excavating right next door. <laughs>